Well, my thoughts when it comes to Novak is that my first thought is actually, I, I can't believe, and I can, that he's hanging around, that he's willing to fight this out, to hear it out, uh, staying in, in just a, a regular hotel. I'm sure that he's been treated exactly the same way as all the other uh, travelers that haven't been allowed uh, in uh, access into the country. So I think he's showing a lot of... Uh, a, a lot of um, guts to just hang around and say, hey, I want to I want to play the strain open. I'm going to get in somehow. I want to hear what the courts have said. It could be very easy for him to turn around and just say, you know what, Australia, um, I don't need to. You guys made a mistake somewhere along the line. I had the right papers, but he's not. He's willing to hear it out. So I think that's where my thoughts go first. And then, um, I mean, is there a, somebody that made a mistake along the way? That's what I'm trying to find out. I mean, who made a mistake along the way? Who promised Novak that he was going to be able to come into the country? Or was it just a pure situation? I don't know. Why don't you give it a shot? Maybe you can. Maybe they will let you in. I don't really know because nobody really knows what the rules are in the whole world today in terms of vaccination and non-vaccination and, and whatever, whatever. So I think the world is, uh, is, we're making decisions as we go along, sort of like playing a tennis match. Do you feel there's been a kind of a lack of support from his fellow players? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think that anyone has, uh, uh, is allowed or can go out and support him. I think that players are most probably supporting him in the fight. You know, it's, if you think you're right, then then stick around and, and hear the case out. And I'm sure that players are, are are giving him support in that. But at the same time, no one really knows what the reasoning is behind him not getting in. What was his medical exemption? So I, Rod Labor said uh, in a tweet, I believe, that he we kind of need to know what the medical reasoning is behind him uh, not um, being able to take uh, to to do the vaccination. And what his reasoning is behind that, um, because I don't think when you're a, uh, when you're a Novak Djokovic, it's not enough to say I'm not doing it or I am doing it. I think we're yeah, we, we kind of need to need some guidance here. And and why are you not doing it? What is your medical exemption? So I think that's what we're waiting for. But again, your medical health is is your private business. Why should we know anything about that? And um, what was it a good idea to come in the first place? Uh, yeah, I think so. I um, cannot imagine Novak Djokovic coming uh, uh, with any kind of risk of not getting in. I mean, that trip is not, it's too long to go. Uh, this could happen. Of course, he's number one in the world. Of course, he's maybe the greatest player of all time. He's chasing history. Uh, uh, and in Serbia, he's absolutely the, the most recognizable person. I don't know, maybe ever. He's not going to put him in this, in himself in this situation unless he was 100% certain he was going to get in. So this is, has to be such a shock to Novak Djokovic's system uh, that he's, what? You're not letting me in? I mean, I, I, yeah. So I think players, I'm sure they give him the support in terms of the fight, but I think everybody wants to know a little bit more details because we can form an opinion. Do you think he's been treated fairly from what you've seen? I mean, you know what, if they, he has to be treated the same way as every other human being. Now that to somebody who's won 20 majors and been number one in the world and has made as much money as him, I don't think that he would put himself in that situation of being treated as a normal citizen very often uh, with the help of the money you made, the fame you have, uh, the power you kind of pull because of your uh, uh, recognition and because of the, the importance of you as a, as a human being because of what you represent. So I think being treated like a normal citizen is most probably going to be, feel like you're being treated horribly these days for anyone that's a world champion or number one in the world in whatever their field is. And how, how much has he bought this on himself and does this tarnish his reputation? Well, I don't know if it tarnishes his reputation. It does it does kind of um, uh, allow for a speculation that is, whoa, should he not have his stuff in place better? Um, the whole Adria tour in Serbia, when he was, he was granted access to do it by the Serbian government, and then that bit him in, in the butt because people came down with COVID and, and somehow he was trying to do a, a great thing and raise money for the less fortunate, and then suddenly, that does, didn't work and COVID was more serious than we realized back then. I think he's been unlucky. I think he's doing 
Uh, he's trying to do the right thing all the time with his players' union as well. He's trying to speak up for the Loda. He's trying to he's trying to fight the fight. Uh, and um, so I, I just maybe it seems like it, it should be more organized. Uh, it's it's maybe his his uh, uh, legacy would become a little bit messy uh, in a way that he should he should have been more prepared. He should have had better papers. But some of it has to do with Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal are such huge popular stars somebody has to be the black sheep and unfortunately for Novak himself I think people that are very willing uh, to uh, sort of paint him uh, that black sheep I think it's very unfair what's it mean for the other players going into this Australian Open then I think it means to them that they want him to play because he is more human this year than he was last year uh, he is more human after the US Open final, after he lost in three sets to Medvedev. And I think the younger generation are looking at, hey, I want to, I want to shot at Novak. I want to play the greatest player of all time. I think I have a chance. I think I have a chance to beat the greatest player of all time. So please let him in. I want to play him. Um, I think I can beat him. Uh, and I think that players hope that he gets through. I really do. We don't want to win majors if the best players are not there. This is not the situation where Novak is injured. If you are injured and can't show up, the other players say something like, well, the, toll, the tour took its toll and he just wasn't strong enough to be able to handle the 12 months. So he's now injured. This is not an injury situation. They want him through and they want to beat him. Six seconds, seventy-two, sixty-three, sixty-five.